Hey guys, welcome back to another Reading FC vlog. Uh, today is the final Reading FC vlog of the season, as I'm not going to Blackburn next week. But, uh, you know, it's a sad, it's a sad day. I, I will be back next season. I've actually uh, purchased season tickets, so I'll be going to pretty much every home game. So there'll be a lot more. Uh, I also want to introduce some more things, like maybe I'll talk about the match some more afterwards, maybe give a man of the match uh, award and all that. See who's the best player of the season, in my opinion, and all that. Uh... But anyway, on to today, uh, playing Preston North End. Uh, game doesn't really table-wise mean anything for either of us. We can't get, neither of us can get relegated, neither of us can get promoted. It's just, it's effectively a friendly. But, uh, you know, it'd be nice to see the team pick up a win. Because I, I haven't seen us win in a while. <laughs> uh, you know, Piazon and Hector have gone back to Chelsea. Not going to miss Piazon, he was rubbish. Uh, Hector, I will miss. I thought it was quite good, but if you think about it, a lot of these players I'm not going to see play again, as they'll all go back to their parent clubs, or we'll probably sell them. But um, So yeah, this could be my last time watching them, but uh, so I'll try and enjoy the day. Uh, hopefully we can pick up three points. Preston are a decent team, though. I'm going to say, just because it's the last day of the season, we're going to win 2-0. Program today with congratulations to Ali Al Hamsi, Paul McShane, and Ollie Norwood. They are the three finalists, and to present the award, please welcome to, to Sir John Madeski and from star Helen Bowen. We can now reveal your winner of the Fans Player of the Season, and as you will see right there for 2015-2016, it's Ali Al Hamsi. Come on. Oh, go on. Oh, it's the thread. Go on, Fred. Go on. Better ball in this time, Norwood. Oh my god. And that's why you're not player of the season. Back the boys and make some noise! Come on! Come on. Oh, oh 
we're supposed to do that much. That's good. <laughs> oh! Come on. Oh! Oh, he's caught it. dreadful <laughs> really really poor performance for the last home game of the season uh, really disappointed for most of the players to be honest just, we just didn't show up really I mean neither did Preston they were pretty rubbish but uh, they definitely deserved the win uh, you know no disrespect to Preston fans uh, you were we were second best in every department you were much better than us you thoroughly deserved the three points uh, not taking anything away from you but we just didn't turn up today. We didn't even. Some of the players that like they were actually weren't even trying. It was really quite painful to watch. Um, okay, let me just uh, mention the players that did obviously give it a go. Quinn was uh, solid as always. He's a bit of an unsung hero, really, with us. But he probably is one of our best players, and he very rarely has a bad performance. Al Absi, uh, one player of the season, and justified why in this game. Uh, Josh Barrett looked very promising uh, for the 45 minutes that he played. Uh, everyone apart from that, uh, everyone was terrible. Uh, <laughs> defence was actually a shambles. Uh, to be fair, McCleary had a decent game as well, uh, but defence was shambles. Don't uh, I think the reason why he was playing people out of position, McDermott, was because he didn't want to play lone players or something like that. And there's a lot of worry about the financial situation the club might be in, in next year, you know, with... Uh, the owners seem to be spending a lot of money on buildings nearby and a mall next to the stadium or something like that. Uh, which, you know, would be nice, but I'd rather have it spent on big players than spent on a mall. Uh, <laughs> but I just don't really... It's quite frustrating, to be honest, seeing... Uh, and Brian Dermott said in his post-match interview, said it was embarrassing. It was an embarrassing performance. I Like, we... Okay, so first off, their first goal, I, I thought... It was offside or something, so our players just seemed to not try. I mean, even Al Abzi, who'd made quite a good say, uh, quite a lot of good saves, and, and up to this point, couldn't do anything. But I don't know. McShane and Cooper were just kind of standing watching, and Gunter wasn't clearing, just kind of watching him run through. He scored. Uh, it wasn't even a great finish. Just scored. Uh, then we got a goal, which was a nice strike from Quinn. Uh, again, he was very solid today, as always. Uh, Ninety plus whatever in stoppage time minute. Uh, McShane, he's uh, it's in the hair, in the air. All he has to do is head it out, you know, nice and safe. Heads it right back to the striker, and uh, no one was marking him either. So they could they could just literally just get in, and they scored uh, in the bottom corner. <laughs> what I found funny was they were doing the laugh appreciation, and there was barely anyone in the stadium. Most people had left. Uh, <coughs> so I do I do feel a bit bad for the players. I did stay behind and clap because I felt like I, I felt like. They do try, at least. I can't say they're not trying. And Some of the players deserve claps, but others just don't. Uh, okay, a new segment I'm going to do is I'm actually going to give a man of the match. Uh, just for Reading, not for both teams, so don't worry, Preston fans. Uh, I think I'm going to give it to Quinn today, because out of everyone, he looked the most solid. I mean, I obviously did make some good saves, to be fair to him, but... I still think Quinn had more work to do because no one was helping him in the midfield and he had to just do everything himself. So, uh, Quinn, man of the match. Alabsi close second. Uh, a big thing that people are 
going on about at the moment is whether McDermott should stay or if he should be sacked. Uh, and in my opinion, I think he should stay. Uh, I've actually previously said <laughs> that I think he should be sacked. So I've changed my opinion just because I've heard what he's he's got to say. And I've thought about it a bit more as well. I think he deserves the chance to change, uh, change it around, to be honest. I mean, I know the argument, you know, it's not his players can be a bit overused, but I think it's valid to be honest. He's obviously not happy with the amount of loan players we've got, and he's even admitted several times he doesn't think there's a balance in the squad. So I think he should be given a chance in the summer to bring in some players. And if we're still not performing, say maybe November next November this year, then I'd say get rid of him and replace him. But uh, we can't be a club that's constantly getting new managers because you know we need to allow them to set, settle in. Uh, so anyway. Uh, another disappointing performance uh, <laughs> from Reading. Uh, full time, Reading 1, Preston 2, and I'll see you in another video.